Hey guys, it's me, and today um, I'm just going to be doing my deck profile on a Quasar. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. Starting off with a Pokemon, we have three colorless Mega Rays, and two Dragon, one colorless Ray. Um, This Mega Ray allows you to uh, evolve on the first turn, Mega Evolve on the first turn. Um, so yeah, and Emerald Break this 30 times the amount of Pokemon that you have on your bench. These you won't be using, you're just going to use these for the Mega. Um, so yeah, you just have these, and you have one colorless for Intensifying Burn. Uh, 60 for basically one, most dick. Yeah, most decks in the meta use EXs, uh, and if not, you can, I mean, it's one colorless, so can't go wrong with that. Wait, let's go like this, actually. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, then, let's go like this. Ooh. Bam. All right. Moving on, we have two Hoopas. Control Ring allows you to search your deck for three Pokemon EX and put them into your hand. Um, the staple in this deck as you need to fill up your bench as fast as you can to get off Emerald Break. Um, yeah, so there's that. Then we want one Manaphy for Aqua Tube. Um, each Pokemon that has a water and any water energy on it has no retreat cost, which is very good. Um, yeah, we just run water energy. Then we have 2-2 two, two line of Octillery. These are not fake. They are just from the Battle Arena decks. So, uh, yeah. It's Abyssal Hand ability. So you draw 5 until you have 5 cards in your hand once per turn. So, yeah. That's very good. Just in place for Shaman. So, yeah. Oop. Let's put this down a little bit. Right, so yeah, there's that. And then we do run four of the Skyfield Stadium. So you have eight Pokemon on your bench, um, which is awesome with this, because you can hit for 240 if you have a full bench, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, Skyfield. Let's put this back. Let's move on to supporters. Um, we have, let's see, um, one, two, three, four Sycamore, staple, best draw power in the format, discard your hand and draw seven, um, staple, then we do have two Lysander, switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with one, his or her active Pokemon, so very good, then we have two Pokemon fan club, so we can get out Hoopa and or anything else we need. Maybe like Remoraid or something. Just not bad if we can't pull out an Ultra Ball or something. We have two Chorus just in place for N at the moment. Because usually if your opponent has like two and you have like eight on the bench, then you're drawing ten. And that's a lot. It will make you deck out faster, but it's massive draw power. Then we have three Skyla. So you search your deck for a trading card so you can look for Ultra Ball or something that you need um, along those lines. So yeah, that's it for supporters. Let's move on to trainers. Um, tra uh, items. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. We have one, two Requests of Spirit Links. Just two. Um... I don't run three because there's simply no need for it. Well, I'm, I might run three, um, and I might take out what I'm about to show you next. We have three Floatstone. Thinking of taking one out because of Mana Fee. Um, so, yeah, there's Floatstone free retreat costs. And we have three Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a Trainer's card, which is very good. You can get Ultra Ball and or something else that you need. And what I've been talking about 
we have Ultra Ball. Discard two cards from her hand. And search your deck for a Pokemon. You can get a Hoopa and then use Hoopa's ability to get out Rays, Manaphy, uh, Baby Rays, you know, stuff like that. And we have two Mega Turbo. Attach a basic energy card from your Scott Pile. So basically, you can use Ultra Ball, get rid of a Water Energy, use Mega Turbo, Spirit Link Mega Ray, and then attach to Mega Ray. That won't be your attached return, so you can DCE and hit them on the first turn, which is very good. Then we have two Acrobike. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Put one in your hand, discard the other, uh, which is very good. Then we have two Super Rods. Shuffle it, three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck, uh, which is very good if you need to get Mega Rays or anything like that back or energy. Then we have one VS Seeker. Um, I will be any more, but at the moment there is only one, so don't worry about it. We will have more of those in this deck. All right. So that is it for trainers. Let's move on to the energy. All right. We run one, two, three, four water energy, not water energy, um, DCE, staple. Um, very good. You can attach this to Mega Ray and one basic energy. And you can hit them for animal break, which is amazing. Then we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven water energy. Um, that's a good amount. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's just right in the middle, which is perfect. And yeah, it's it's just good. Um, it's good. It's just a good amount <clears throat> to sustain the power that this deck needs. Um, so yeah, it can also give free retreat costs if you have mana on the field. So, um, yeah, that's it for my deck profile on Mega Ray. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've been working on this deck for maybe like two weeks. Uh, so, yeah, it's still not complete. It's getting there. Um, it did me good in the tournament. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And peace.